because all the files in the Mahdi, you know, how many files are there? We should have 12 of them joined to the worm. Which are the 12? Can you figure out, brothers and sisters? Huh? We have Hua, it can be Mustatir or Mawjud. Then Huma, where is the file? Alif. Huh? Zahaba, remember? Then Zahabu, where is the file? Wow. wow. Then Zahabat, Mustatir or Mawjud. Then two of the ladies, again Huma, Alif. Huh? Zahabata, what it will be? Zahabata, Alif, Sahih. And then Zahabna, where is the file? Noon. And then Ta, Tuma, Tum, Ti, Tuma, Tunna, Tu, Na, 12. Count it again. Zahaba, Alif, Zahabu, Waw, Zahabata, Alif, Zahabna, Noon, and then Ta, Tuma, Tum, Ti, Tuma, Tunna, Tu, Na. What are these? Files. And they are all Marfu. Marfu. Remember, files are all Marfu. So this is a Damir, but it is Marfu. You know, I am telling you this in the early stages of our studies, so that inshallah you will remember this. Uh, and if you forget, don't worry, because we will be discussing this again later on, inshallah. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Al Mudarris. Are you with me? Al Mudarris. Lesson number five. Al Darslu Khamisu. Do you see Khamisu? Al Darsul Khamisu. Or did I say, brothers and sisters? Al Darsul Khamisu. Al Khamisu. Al Darsul Khamisu. Al Khamisu. Me, so what, what kind of a wazan is this? Fa'ilun. Eh? Wazan is Fa'ilun. Remember that. It will help you, inshallah. Fine. Al Mudarris. Man fataha babal fasli. Man fataha. Who opened? Opened what? Opened what? Bab al Fasli. What is Bab al Fasli? Two words. Mudaf Mudaf Lehi. Huh? Now you see, Bab al Fasli is Mudaf Mudaf Lehi. And if you want to circle it, Bab al Fasli, that it is Mudaf Mudaf Lehi, you can do that. Huh? Fine. Brothers and sisters, what is Bab? Bafulun Bihi. Sahi. Bahuwa, Mudaf, and Mudaf ilahi. Yeah. Hamid says, Ana, I, Muftada. Where is the khabar? The whole Jumla failure is your khabar. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? The whole Jumla failure is your khabar. Okay. Ana, Fatah. Verb, tu. File, hu. Mafulun bihi. You got the idea? Fatah tu hu. How many words are there? Three. Three. Fatah tu and hu. When uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Iblis, why didn't you prostrate before Adam when I asked you? What did he say? What did he say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Khalak. Tahu. Translate, brother. You created him. Sahi? Where is the verb? Khalak. Where is the file? Ta. And where is, what is now next thing? Now, you created him from clay. And he said about himself, what did he say? Khalak ta ni. Khalakta ni min nari. 
You created me from fire, so I am superior to him, you know. So let us write down that. Khalak. Ta. Ni. Now look at it, brother. Khalak huh? ta ni. Where is the verb? Khalak. And then what is ta? File. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is this noon doing here? Noon of protection. What is it? Noon of protection. And where is the mafulun bihi? Yeah, mutakallim. Got the idea, brother? Yeah. Huh? Now remove nunu vikaya, the fall, the verb will get ruined. What will you say? Khalak ti. What will it become? If there is no nunu vikaya. Uh, what will happen, brother? If there is no nunu vikaya, it will become khalak. Huh? I'm not writing anything on ta, and I'm putting here. What will happen now, brother and sister? Khalak ti. The noon got, the fail got ruined, brother. Huh? Because we wanted to say khalak ta. Uh, we did not want to say khalak ti. The, the verb is khalak ta. And because ya mutakalim came, it gave it a kasra. So in order to protect the verb, we brought noon. And we are telling Ya Mutakalam, Kitane Kasare Dene hai. Ek Dene hai, das Dene hai. Yitane Dene hai, de do. What did I say? We are asking Ya Mutakalam, how many Kasaras you want to give? One, two, ten. Give as many as you want. But give it to the noon. Don't touch the verb. Don't touch the verb. <laughs> verb is not to be touched. So then, brother and sisters, what is this? Khalak. Verb. Ta. File. Noon. Noon of protection. And what is Yamutakalim? Mafulun bihi. Got the idea? So this is the way now we'll be using pronouns. Huh? As a mafulun bihi. So look at it. Ana fatah tu hu. Ana fatah tu hu. So brother, you will break it down. Fatah fiel. Tu file. Hu mafulun bihi. Object. Huh? All the time, if you practice this, you will become very strong. Okay, brother and sister. Man fatahal nawafiza. What is the translation? Windows, uh, nawafiza, plural. Uh, what is the answer? Ali says, ana fatah tu ha. Why ha? Kulu jama muannas. Kulu jama muannas. Ana fatah tu ha. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fiel, file, and mafulun bihi. Very good, brothers. Man kasara hazal maktaba. Man kasara hazal maktaba. A translation, brothers and sisters? Who broke this desk? Fine, brothers and sisters. So, kasara, fiel, where is the file? Mostatir. Where is the file? Mostatir. Where is mafulun bihi? Ah, that is your mafulun bihi. And then what is al maktaba? Badal. Huh? What is it? You got the idea, brothers and sisters? It's wonderful, you know, when you can analyze it and see the how the words are constructed into a sentence. Okay, brother, kasara 
fial file mustatir what is the meaning of kasara to break huh? he broke broke what haza broke what haza he broke this and then al maktaba became badal for this got the idea then the teacher is asking anta kasarta hu ya hashim translation brother kasarta hu did you break it huh? see now the mafurun bihi came now the all the verbs inshallah dr sahib will use or our transitive verbs then the mafulun bihi will come sahi anta kasarta hu see kasar ta hu fial file mafulun bihi kasar ta hu huh? what is the answer la inni truly i what is inna harfu tawqid wa nasb and so where is the ismu inna ya mutakallim okay so where is the khabar inna jumla failia are you with me now the khabar is coming as a jumla huh? inni ma what is ma brother and sister harfu nafi a huh? particle of negation and what is this kasar to who i broke it ma with ma is i did not break it are you with me ma kasar to who i did not break it look at the verb brother where is the verb kasar where is the file to where is mafulun bihi who got the idea now tell me brother and sister isn't this easy and wonderful Alhamdulillah, now you are moving further now. Huh? You are now learning mafulun bihi. And, and this is where the lessons will become more and more interesting, inshallah. Uh, Raja uh, Zakaria. So here Raja is, see here again Dr. Abdurrahim is uh, using his, you know, vision. Now Dr. Abdurrahim is teaching us transitive verbs, but then he will also bring in transitive verbs in between to remind us that it does not need mafulun bihi. So okay. Araja Zakaria wa Hamzatu wa Uthmanu min Makkata. Okay. Raja is fail. Where is the file, brother? And what is this Hamzatu? Mautufun ala Zakaria. And what is Uthmanu? Mautufun ala Zakaria. Got the idea? Fine, brother. What is the answer? La. No. Ma. Raja'u. What is the meaning of it? They did not return. What is Ma? Harfu nafi. Okay. And then, where is the fiel? Raja'u. Where is the file? Wow. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. So that was intransitive verb. <coughs> Abbas, Ya Ustaz, Kharajat Tullabul Jududu, Wa Zahabu Ilal Mudiri. Huh? Brother, what is the translation? The new students came out and went to the director. Sahi, brother? We are going to learn now. Lot of things in this lesson. See, kharaja tullabu. Where is the verb, brother? Kharaja. Where is the file? Tullabu. Huh? Okay. And then, what is al jududu? Naat. And then, wow came. And then, what is the verb? Zahabu. Are you with me? Zahabu. Where is the verb? Zahabu with dhamma. Where is the file? Wow. Huh? Okay. Now look at it, brothers and sisters. The sentence started with a verb in the singular form. Do you see kharaja in the singular form? Where is the file? Tullabu. Now that is a jama. That is a jama. 
So we are going to learn very soon in next half an hour inshallah if we can finish it otherwise we will do this tomorrow inshallah so that is why I say this lesson is extremely extremely important to understand we won't rush we'll take our time inshallah okay now Mudaris is asking Talha Afahimta darsa ya Talha translation brothers and sisters O Talha did you understand? Understand what? Are you with me? I'm asking. Understand what? Adarsa. So brother, figure out fail. Fahim. Only Fahim. Where is the file? Ta. Oh, where is Mafulun Vihi? Darsa. Got the idea? What is the answer? Naam. Yes. Fahim tu hu jayidan. Huh? Fahim tu hu jayidan. See, I am deliberately breaking them. Uh, instead of, I can also say Fahim tu hu. But I am trying to break it for you to understand. Where is the verb? Fahim. Where is the file? Tu. Where is mafulun bihi? Hu. Got the idea? What is jayidan? See, Jaidan, Mansub, Mansub, Mafulun Motlak. <laughs> that we are going to learn later on. So here, Jaidan is Mansub. But that there has to be a reason for it to be Mansub. It is Mafulun Motlak, but we are going to learn later on. Kataptal uh, Ajbibata Ya Faisal. Look at this, brother. Katabta what is the meaning of it? Did you write? Write what? Answers. Al-Ajvibata is answers. This is plural, brother. What is singular? <coughs> Jawab. Huh? Singular is Jawab. Huh? I will write down here, brother. Jawabun. What is the plural? Ajvi ba tun. Now I'll write down one more thing. What is this, brother? Sualun. What did I write down? What is the jama? Asilatun. Same pattern. What is the jama? As. E la tun. Now I write on one more, brother. Isalun. What is the jama? Amsilatun. Do you see a pattern coming here? What is it? Jama? Am si latun. See here, look at it. There is a pattern. Ajvibatun, asilatun, and amsilatun. Akataptal <clears throat> ajvibata. Ya Faisal, did you write the answers? What is the answer? La, ma, katab, tu, ha. See, katab, tu, and then hai. What is the translation? I did not write them. Huh? I did not write them. Huh? Fine, brother and sister. The question, Limaza, translation. Why? Limaza. Why? Liannani. What is this Liannani? Because I. Liannani means because I. Okay, brother. So what is this? Lianna. Anna is min akhwatu 
inna. Okay, li is separate. Anna min akhwatu inna. So where is the ismu anna? Ya mutakallim. Mansu, remember? Oh, where is the khabar now? The whole jumla. Huh? Fialya is your khabar. Ma, ma, fahim tu al asila ta. What is the translation? Because I did not understand the questions. How can I write answers when I didn't understand the questions? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Look at it now. Ma harfunafi. Where is the verb? Fahim. File tu. File tu. Mafulun bihi? As ilata. Mansu. Do you see it, brother? Fine. Now here is a nice verb, brother. See how many different verbs are now we are getting? Every sentence verb now. Ahafista surat al fajri ya Ibrahim. Ahafista. Translation, brother. Ahafista. Did you memorize? Memorize what? Surata. What is surata? Mafulun. Wahua. Mudaf. And where is Mudaf ilahi? Uh, uh, did you memorize the Surah Fajr? Uh, ya Ibrahim? So, brother, Surata is Mafulun bihi, Wahuwa Mudaf, and then Fajri Mudaf ilahi. MashaAllah. Fine. Okay, brothers and sisters, what is the answer? Naam Hafiz. No, he's answering himself now. Naam, Hafiz, Tu, Ha. So, brother, where is the verb? Hafiz. Then, Tu. And then, Ha. Fine. Wa, Hafiz, Tu, Suratatini. What is it, brother? Hafiz, Tu, Suratatini. Translation, brother? I memorized Suratin. Now, let us analyze. Hafiz, fial, tu, file, surata, maful bivi, wahua mudaf, and tini mudaf. Alhamdulillah. See how beautiful it is, brother? Now you understand all these things, inshallah? Aidan, this is a maful mutla. It's mansu. Huh? It is Mansu. Aidan is Mansu. Ajib anil as'ilatil atiyati. Aina zahabat tulabul jududu. Aina zahaba tulabul jududu. Fine, brother. Where is the verb? Where is the file? Tulabu. Fine. What will you answer now? Zahabu ilal mudiri. Khalas. Afahimat talhatu darsa fahima fiel talhatu fail ad darsa mafulun bihi did talha understand the lesson now brother ayya suratin hafiza ibrahim this is very important and put a proper vowel sign on ayya Ayyu yawmin haza. What is the translation? Is today. Ayyu shahrin haza. Okay. So ayyu came. Huh? Okay. Now, if I say, Fi ayyi shari'in. Fi ayyi shari'in. Translation? In which street? Huh? Say. Now it comes. Ayya. Now comes Ayya. Write down Ayya, brother. Why it is Ayya? Huh? Why it is Ayya? Huh? Now, I know Ayyu, if it is Ayyu, it is either Muptada or Khabar. Because they are Marfu. Huh? If I say Ayyi, then I know it is Majroor. Now Ayya... 
it is Mansu. So then it is, maybe it is Mafulun Bihi. And it is definitely Mafulun Bihi. Ayya Suratin. But then, brother, Mafulun Bihi came in the beginning. Hmm? <clears throat> because Ayya is also used for asking questions. So it has to come in the beginning. Ayya has to come in the beginning. Even if it is Mansub, it has to come in the beginning. How do I satisfy myself that this is Mafulun Bihi? So I, in my mind, in my own unorthodox way, I change the words. I say to you, I say to you, Hafiza Ibrahim. What did I say to you, brothers and sisters? Hafiza Ibrahim. Translate, brother. Memorize. Now I say to you, which surah? Hafiz memorized. Hafiz memorized. He memorized something. Now I want to ask you. He memorized which surah? So then which huh, is the answer to what? Hafiza, Ibrahimu, Ibrahim memorized. Memorize what? But instead of saying what, I say which surah? Are you with me? So what is now which coming as a? Mafulun bihi. Hafiza Ibrahim. Ibrahim memorize. Memorize what? So instead of saying what, I say which. Because I get an answer for that. Which. Inshallah try to understand as much as you can brothers and sisters. Which surah. So which surah is mudaf mudafilehi. Because, you know, ayu will always come as a muda. But because hafiza is a transitive verb, huh, then it will come as a mafulun bihi. Ayu will become ayya. Ayu will become ayya. I ask you, brother and sister. In English, I want to ask you, which book did you read? Now first tell me about the did you read? Or book, which book you read? Which book you read? Translate you read? Karata. Okay. So, Karata you read. Which book? So, which book is Ayya Kitabin. Are you with me? Which book? Translate which book? Actually, if it is not in the sentence, then you will say Ayyu Kitabin. Are you with me? Ayyu Kitabin. Now, but you are using a verb. Huh? Karata. Karata. Needs mafulun bihi. So then you will say Ayya Kitabin Karata. Not Ayyu. Ayya. Why Ayya? Because now Ayya is the mafulun bihi for karata. So turn it around, brother. Say karata first. Just say for the sake of karata uh, to find out mafulun bihi because it needs mafulun bihi. So you will say karata ayya suratin. I write here, brother and sister. I'm changing the, the verbs, brother. Hafiza Ibrahimu. Okay. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, Hafiza Ibrahim. Ibrahim memorized. Now, are you satisfied with the statement? He memorized. What did he memorize? Did he memorize some song? Did he memorize some poetry? Did he memorize a verse of the Quran? Did he memorize the whole Quran? What did he memorize? Huh? So then I say, what will write down now? I need mafulun bihi. Ayya. 
heard the idea? It came as a ayya. So ayya needs now mudafilehi. Huh? So I say surah 10. Huh? Hafiza Ibrahimu. Ibrahim memorized which surah? Huh? Now, brother, Ayya cannot come like this. Ayya has to go in the front. So it became, brother, Ayya Suratin Hafiza Ibrahimu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Are you with me? I'm trying to explain this because I had a little difficulty in getting this concept in my mind. Why Ayya becomes Mansub? The question is why Ayya becomes Mansub? You cannot say Ayyu. Ayya. Fine. Now look at this very carefully, brothers and sisters. As I was asking you, Karata, what did I say? Karata. Where is the verb? Kara. Where is the file? Ta. You read. Now I say, which book? Read what? Which book? Huh? So I will say, I ya kita bin. Huh? Which of the book? Sahih. Now, ayya cannot come in the end. It has to come in the front. So, how will I write down? Ayya kitabin. Ayya kitabin. If I say to you, which lesson did you understand? Which lesson you understood? Huh? So, because huh, that understood is a transitive verb, Fahima, I must have Mafulun Bihi. Sahi. So, which book means are you uh, uh, kitabin or are you darsin? Huh? But because the verb is transitive, are you will become ayya. So, which lesson you understood? How will you say ayya darsin fahimta? If I ask you, all of you, which lesson did you all understand? Ayya darsin fahimtum. Ayya darsin fahimtum. So are you with me? Ayya, if it is coming in the beginning with a verbal sentence, with a verb in the sentence, and if the verb is transitive, then ayya is your mafulun bihi in the question. Now because ayya will result in question. Huh? Huh? Are you kalamin in the car? So are you will always come in the as a question. Now it is coming as a question. Ayya kitabin karata. Which book did you read? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah you will understand. So, the point of understanding, brother, is that you should know if the verb is transitive, then the, it will come as a ayya. Huh? Are you with me? Are you with me? So, these are all transitive words, brother. Okay, then you will have 
uh, ayu as a ay ya as a mafulun bihi. So here third question is ayya suratin hafiza Ibrahimu. What will be your answer? Hafiza Ibrahimu surat al fajri huh? wa surat al tini. Very good. Man fatahal nawafiza. Man fatahal nawafiza. What is the answer, brother? Fataha ha fataha ha and then file. Aliyun. Huh? So how will you write down, brothers and sisters? You will write down. Okay. Fa ta ha ha. Ali Yun Man Fatahal Nawafiza Mafulun Bihi Man Fatahal Nawafiza Mafulun Bihi. What will you say? Fataha ha Fataha ha Ali Yun. Huh? Translate, brother Ali open them. Huh? Ha is for them. Fine, Ali open them. Where is the verb Fataha? Where is the verb? Where is the verb, brothers and sisters? Fataha. Where is the file? Ali. Ali, see, it's there. Huh? And then Ha is your mafulun bi. Suppose if Ali was not there, then I will say file is he opened them. But we have to mention Ali in this case because. We don't know who opened them. So we say, Fataha ha alijun. So alijun is your file. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Hmm? Now, question number two, brothers and sisters, is, is whether the statement is right or wrong. Are you with me? Statement is right or wrong. Okay. Fataha aliyun fasla. Fasla. Write down fasla. Huh? Fataha aliyun fasla. Is it correct? No, it is wrong. Fataha aliyun nawafiza. Fine. Fataha aliyun fasla. It is wrong. Fataha aliyun nawafiza. Then, ma raja'a zakariya wa hamzatu wa uthmanu min makkah. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct. Ma kataba faisalun ajbi bata li annahu ma fahimal as'ilata. Is it correct? That is correct. Okay. Number four. Ma kataba faisalun ajbi bata li anna kalamahu. Kalamahu. Maksurun. Okay. Translate, brother and sisters. He did not write the answers because his pen is broken. Are you with me? So here we come, brother and sisters. Kataba ma nafi arfu nafi kataba fiel faisalun file al ajbi bata mafulun bihi. Lianna anna min akhwatu inna kalama not kalamu but kalama ismu anna wa huwa mudaf and who mudaf ilayhi and maksurun no but the khabar <laughs> are you with me it's this is a nice sentence to analyze uh, in a simple way if you can so kalamahu, what is kalamahu? Two words. What are they? Mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Kalamahu, maksurun. Kalamahu, maksurun. Okay, brothers and sisters. So lianna because anna min akhwatu inna. So it needs ismu inna mansub. And where is that? Kalama. Wa huwa mudaf. And who mudaf ilayhi. And then we need khabar anna. Brother 
Hassan and the Khabar Anna is Maksurun. Okay. Inshallah, we stop here and we will continue tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll finish it, brothers and sisters. It's a long lesson, but because you have a good idea now, so tomorrow, you know, you will have a still a stronger idea. I request you to read the key and proceed in the lesson on your own. See how much you can do it. By reading the key, you will get a better understanding, inshallah. The, from now onwards, our key in English will play a very vital role in your understanding. So read the key as often as you can. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatam wa fil akhirati hasanatam wa kina adab nar Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata ayunin wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama Allahumma a'ina ala zikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatika Rabbana takabbal minna Inna ka anta samiyul alim wa tub alayna Inna ka anta tawabu rahim Subhana rabbika rabbil izzi